It's time to get moving. The ports are back open, but there's still a huge backlog of goods waiting to get out. And tonight there's a huge question mark hanging over the water as well. Welcome everybody to Coin6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Ann State. I'm Jeff Gianola. So there is a five-year tentative contract in the works at the port, but it's not exactly a done deal. Lisa Balick now live with more on that. Lisa? Yeah, Jeff, it is still rocky out here, that's for sure. Even though that agreement was made on Friday, there are still problems. In fact, this afternoon, the terminal operators here just issued a statement saying that, quote, they are not seeing a good faith effort by the longshoremen to bring productivity at Terminal 6 to acceptable levels. Additionally, the union is failing to provide sufficient labor for needed container vessel and barge operations at the terminal, saying they engaged in an illegal work stoppage by failing to provide labor just yesterday. So clearly, things are not going well out here. It's murky waters. 700 Oregon businesses, many shipping agriculture products like peas, frozen French fries, onions, depend on this company to get their products across the Pacific Ocean to market in Asia. Now, mountains of containers stacked up during the work slowdown by dock workers are starting to go out, but they may not all get out before Hanjin permanently pulls its operations out of Portland. Do you have any indication that they could change their mind? No, but it's happened before. Port leaders say the South Korea-based shipping company is steaming out of here for economic reasons. If that happens, hundreds of Oregon companies would have to truck containers of product up to Tacoma or Seattle, adding up to $1,000 extra per container, a blow in their fight to compete overseas. It'll be very, very expensive for those businesses. Would it put some businesses under? Well, it could. Although there are hundreds of farm products shipped out, there are plenty of other Oregon businesses that send their goods overseas as well. Also, there are imports. Doesn't the state have a responsibility to get someone else in here? Well, uh, you know, this is fundamentally a commercial decision. Uh, it's not a political decision. And but businesses are looking for leadership to help them survive, especially when they hear this. What's the likelihood of somebody else coming in? Well, in the short run, uh, probably not great. So, again, right now, though, the immediate concern is this tentative agreement that was reached on Friday. Things are not going well, even with a tentative agreement. The longshoremen have to vote on that agreement in a couple of weeks. We'll see what happens. Again, the folks in Washington, D.C. are looking at this. Even the president says he's keeping an eye on what's happening here with the slowdown and what will happen to a lot of the goods and services, not just here in Oregon, but along the West Coast as well. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank